Hey, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on derivatives. This time we're going to be working with the power rule. So the power rule theorem states, if n is a rational number, then the function f of x is equal to x to the nth power. And is differentiable, and for f to be differentiable at x is equal to zero, n must be a number such that x to the n minus one is defined on an interval containing zero. Well, that is a big mouthful of theorem and sounds a lot harder than it really is. So to make you more comfortable and get away from that scary theorem, we're gonna go ahead and work a couple problems and you'll see exactly how easy it is to solve derivatives. So the first derivative that we're gonna work with, it, first problem is f of x is equal to x cubed. Well, if you match this up with the theorem, you'll see that we already pretty much have all this in line for us. We have the x and we have the cube, which is the n in the, in the theorem. All we're doing is missing the number out front. And the number out front is, is always gonna be a one unless there was a coefficient out there like a two or three, a four or five or whatever it may be. So in this case, we just have simply x cubed. Now what we're gonna do with our x cubed is we're gonna take our three, we're gonna multiply it. This goes for all derivatives and that using the power rule, we're gonna multiply our three by our invisible one out front of the, that's our coefficient. So three times one is three, that's gonna give us three x. Now we're gonna subtract, as you see in the theorem, you see that negative one? We're gonna subtract that negative one off the original exponent and that's gonna give us two. So your resulting answer is gonna be three x squared. It's really that easy. So let's step this up just a little bit and see what happens when we have a negative exponent and a number out front. So let's say we have two x raised to the negative fifth power. Again, very simple concept here. What we have is we have our negative five we're gonna take that, multiply it by our coefficient of two. A negative five multiplied by two is going to give us a negative 10. Now, we have, to, we have to subtract one off the original exponent. So a negative five minus a negative one is going to give us negative six. So our completed answer here is negative 10 x to the negative six. So again, very simple concept. I'm gonna repeat this one more time. Whatever you have, your, whatever your exponent is, you multiply it by your coefficient, the number out front of the x. Then you just subtract off a negative one from your original exponent. And whether it be positive or negative, you, know, you just have to work with that exponent. Like in this case, we had a negative five and a negative one that gave us a negative six. In the original case, we had a three and a negative one, which gave us a two. So the simple addition and subtraction rules apply there. So they're really that easy. Um, again, just practice, practice makes perfect. If you need more help, feel free to stop by our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash users slash Fredricate, or visit our website at fredricate.com. Feel free to drop me a line. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.